after getting approval of the budget now we can see the execution phase the activities and processes planned at the beginning of the project are carried out during the execution phase this includes for example entering the actual dates for starting and finishing work packages the activities carried out are documented using the confirmations processes for procuring materials and services are triggered and the documents that result from this are assigned to project structures where appropriate invoices are created and unplanned variances documented the actual data generated is compared with the planned dates cost and so on now we'll start with the actual dates for wbs elements during the planning phase we entered basic dates for wbs element for instance by creating graphical time bars in the project planning board in the execution phase we can set actual dates in the same way in the project planning board the status partially released are released must be set before we can enter actual start and actual end dates for wbs elements to monitor dates in the project we compare the basic dates with the actual dates that is we compare the planned dates with the actual dates are forecasted completion dates we can use the project planning board or structure information system for analysis purpose so here in the project planning board we are set the actual start date that will be compared with the basic dates next confirmations confirmation document the processing status of activities and activity elements in a network and enable to make forecasts as to how the project will progress various functions are carried out automatically by means of confirmations such as posting actual costs actual dates actual labor and if necessary changing the activity status there are different methods for entering confirmations confirmation options we have individual confirmation collective confirmation confirmation from information system confirmation workflow confirmation through internet through the cats that is time sheet open ps cats notebook pdc confirmation so there are various options are available for the confirmation now we'll see some details of the various options while we use individual confirmations to enter confirmation data for a network activity activity element or capacity split only we can create confirmations for more than one object in a collective confirmation we can create individual or collective confirmations in the sap system or via the internet in the structure information system we can also select more than one activity or activity element and send them to another user or our national unit as a confirmation workflow we can use cats cross application time sheet to enter time data we can enter data using the appropriate transactions in the sap system via the internet as well as offline using the mobile time and travel solution we can also use a palm pilot and open project system interface to enter confirmation data offline that is without a direct connection to the sap system and then transfer it to the sap system we can also import data 
from other PDC systems via standardized interfaces and use it to create confirmations. CATS is a cross-component transaction for entering activities carried out in human resources, project system, plant maintenance, customer service, controlling and external services. We can use data entry profiles to define the layout of the cross-application timesheet. In a work list, we can display assignments made when the work was distributed among the employees as a set of proposals for entering time data. Reports transfer the released data to the different applications. The actual time data may be imported for various applications simultaneously. In this case, the data is transferred to all applications in question. We cannot use CATS to enter confirmation for production orders because production confirmations deal primarily with yields and scrap quantities. We can however use CATS to enter hours and assign them to the receiver object production order. When transferred to CO, the hours are posted as internal activity allocation in a production order. So this is about cross application timesheet where we are entering only working hours. Assigning documents, procurement processes and claim management. In the project execution phase, commitments and actual costs are updated to projects by assigning various documents. We will use execution services to post internal activity, allocations and purchase requisitions and get to know the procurement process carried out by purchasing team. We will create claims to document unplanned variances from the origi pla original pl project plan, plan variance, costs and if necessarily trigger the appropriate measures. Assigning documents. By assigning the appropriate documents, the resulting commitment or actual costs are posted directly to a WBS element or the network activity. During the project planning phase, these costs were planned accordingly. We can for example plan the costs for purchase requisitions, purchase orders and goods received at network or activity level using the externally processed activities. Service activities are material components that are procured directly. Withdraw stock from warehouse using the appropriate stock items, post invoices using cost activities and cost raising as a result of confirmations using internally processed activities. Actual costs uh, and revenues arising from purchase requisitions, purchase orders, goods receipts, activity allocations or invoices for WBS elements match the values of the primary costs. Activity input or revenue planning data for the work breakdown structure. We can use execution services to enter commitment and actual cost for items that we planned using easy cost planning. The following postings are possible like internal activity allocation, direct process allocation, reservations, goods issue, purchase requisitions, purchase order. This purchase requisition and purchase orders for the material items, external activity items, service items, variable items. Here we can see in a single screen the various CO assignment documents like purchase requisitions, purchase order and goods received from material management, material withdrawals and general ledger account posting in financing, overheads, process costs, interest calculation, settlement in the controlling, periodic transfer posting, distribution assessment in controlling, internal activity allocation in the controlling and confirmation from the project system. So this entirely happens in the work breakdown structure and 
network with network activities procurement processes purchase requisitions are generated by the network for externally processed activities service activities and materials that are procured externally these purchase requisitions are passed on to the purchasing department for further processing the purchasing process involves issuing a request for quotation to vendors entering these quotations in the system selecting the vendors converting the purchase requisitions to purchase orders and monitoring the orders until goods and invoices are received a service activity triggers a similar purchasing process but can also contain a hierarchy of planned services to be purchased and value limits for unplanned services the goods received for services involves two steps entering services perform and accepting them the purchase requisition results in purchase requisition commitments for the account assignment object when the purchase requisition is converted to a purchase order this results in purchase order commitment for the account assignment object this is a different value type than purchase requisition commitment depending on the account assignment category of the purchase order actual costs are posted when the goods are invoices received for valuated or non valuated goods received they are passed on to the network activity or wbs element depending on the account assignment instead of having the network generate purchase requisitions automatically we can create purchase requisitions and purchase orders manually and assign them to wbs elements execution of services the procurement process for execution of services the purchase requisitions will be generated then request for quotation entry of quotation then vendor selection purchase order handlings and purchase order monitoring purchase order commitments goods received that is nothing but actual cost invoice verification again the actual cost this is the entire process for services proman is a tool that helps to carry out project oriented procurement proman enables to access data in sap ps purchasing production requirement planning and inventory management procurement related information from this components is structured in proman and displayed in summarized form individual steps in the procurement process such as creating reservations purchase requisitions and process orders are entering deliveries from projects goods issues or balance sheet transfers can be called out directly in proman the status and progress of internal and external procurement processes can be monitored and controlled within a single transaction that is proman so in the proman we already seen in the planning phase the same thing the left side the object information in the right side we have different views components view orders view quantities view and dates view stocks and deliverables climb management while the project is being executed we may experience delivery problems price variances variations unforeseeable bottlenecks and so on that result in variances from the project plan if this occurs we must document these variances and clarify which contractual partners are responsible climb management ensures that a climb arising from variances is prepared and lodged against the contractual partners at the right time or deflected if it is in the other direction we can use the climb notification category in climb management in pol system 
to document any variances from project plan. Identify the party responsible and initiate follow-up activities. Variances often incur increased costs. We can enter the costs that may have occurred either when creating the climb or at a later stage. We can create climbs either in the SAP system or via the internet. The climb overview and climb hierarchy in SAP PS provide two reports that we can use to evaluate climbs. We can integrate the data for estimated variance costs from climbs in cost planning for the relevant projects. The system automatically creates an internal order for this purposes as a cost collector when we save the claim and transfer the estimated cost to the cost collector. The internal order is automatically assigned to the same WS element as the claim and can be evaluated in the appropriate SAP project system reports. So if you see the claim that is nothing but a deviation what we have planned how it works. Whenever climb arises, it will be raised in the system, then the estimated cost will booked under WBS via internal order. Milestone billing. The starting point for milestone billing is a sales order item with a billing plan whose dates stem from milestones of the assigned project. If we enter actual dates in the billing milestone, the billing lock imposed on the corresponding date in the billing plan is lifted. We already seen the milestones assignment date in cost and revenue planning. The unlocked date of the sales order item is then billed during the next billing run. Like the sales order item, the invoice document is assigned to a WBS element. This means that the actual revenues are posted in the project. The system flags the date in the billing plan as a fully processed. That means the billing status is completed. So the milestone billing where we are considered is the WBS element and this is integrated with the sales and distribution order. So ultimately the block will be unblocked during this execution phase. Project system cash management. During the course of the project, project costs that affect receipts and expenditures, that means incoming and outgoing payments, are incurred as a result of purchasing or sales documents. To identify early on the when payments are due during the project, we have to plan and monitor payments. The aim of Broad system cash management is to optimize cash flows to maximize project profits and reduce project costs. The project system cash management diagram shows the sort of questions that those responsible for project cash management should ask in order to monitor payment flows effectively. So here, how much money will I receive? How much do I have to pay? These are the major questions will be answered through project cash management. When will I receive money? When must I pay? That is about the dates. Which project will receive money? Which project has to pay? What will I receive money for? What must I pay for? This entire inflows and outflows can be drawn in the cash management. But for the cash management, the funds ma management activation is one of the important factor. After structures, creation, planning and costing and budgeting, now finally we will see the 
execution part for that we'll go to uh, logistics project system again this execution part we can do step by step wise like network networks and through project builder also so now what we'll do we'll go to project builder from the project builder we'll try to do first then we'll go to and we'll see how to do the same thing from the networks or we can uh, first of all we see from the networks then we can see the project builder also so for that special functions network and network chain so here we will select 3014 uh your 4c will see this uh this network has any uh, activities or not in the project builder these are advantages we can see everything on one screen here we have to see one by one so this is the uh, 4c here uh, we'll see the activities and this network uh, no here we can see the activities are there so the first two we we'll leave the first two activities now this is the cleaning and here uh, if you go to this activity we'll see the status of this activity is created and settlement rule has been created so now for execution we have to first of all release the activity so for that edit status release so once we release this activity the system is giving the information that this wps is not at released so whatever assigned wps is there once it is not released the system doesn't allow us to release the activity so we can see the similar way this is not release suppose if we see the wps element Uh, status zero CJ zero three for the display of the WBS element. We'll select this WBS element and see the status of the WBS element. now the wb element status is created and it has a availability control so what we need to do is we have to we have to release this uh, wbs to do the activity release so for that purpose uh, we are coming out from this network activity and we are going for 
this change of this WPS element. From the network also we are out otherwise the activity will be released. NUT thousand one four zero four C. So we'll go to WPS element again. This WBS we are going and putting the status release. Now this WBS element is being released. So this status has been set to release. Now we will see the uh, details of this WBS. Earlier it is CRTD created and availability control. Now we can see this WBS has been released and one AUC also is there that is asset in construction exist. That means WBS we have considered as investment measure that is the reason why this once the on the release of the WBS element asset under construction is also generated automatically if we click on this asset under construction we can see the internal number range has been assigned once the we save the WBS element automatically this entire AUC number will be generated now we'll save the WBS element number and we'll see once again WBS display Now we are saving the WBS which is released. Now we can see that the WBS element has been saved. Now we will go and check the status of the WBS element once it is released. Now we can see the WBS element status is released with the AUC and we will see the details. So there is no settlement rule because now the in the bottom up from the activity to WS cost will be settled first now again we'll go to asset under construction in this asset under construction now the number has been generated for the asset this is account determination and time dependent business area plant allocations origin insurance depreciation area so like this way once the WBS has been released this AUC will be assigned automatically and availability control from the top-down method the second level WBS has been budget is allocated and released automatically availability control will be set for the lower level WBS elements. Now we'll go to uh, network again and we'll see the network activity release. Now we have for this network WBS element is this. So we'll try to release this network activity
now once we are trying to release the uh, network it is checking the material availability also now we'll save this so activity will be saved accordingly similarly we have to release these two wbs elements 321 bf yes and p so we'll go to this wbs element in the chain mode and we release this wbs element edit status release again now we can see the status is here also aec has been generated now while saving system is checking for the budget check this wbs element is being saved and here while saving the activity whatever we have assigned the components to this activity system will check for the budget if budget is not available it will not go for the assigning the purchase order generation or reservation allocation this wbs has been saved now we'll see the aec details of this wbs so this aec has been generated this is asset under construction aec number has been generated and here we can see the investment program also this activity has been changed now now we'll go and check once release the activity in the activity whatever materials are there whether the purchase requisition has been generated or not so we are going to this activity in this activity we already seen the settlement rule the settlement rule has been generated assigning to wbs now we already seen the planned and actual cost no cost were calculated now we see the material over you against this activity if any materials are assigned or not any components are assigned or not no components are assigned so there will not be any pr creation like that now for this no investment programs has been made that means investment module has to be implemented and in that investment program this wbs should be allocated that is not happened so now we will go to another wbs element that is that is p so now we will release this activity also select and release is carried out we'll see this activity and we will release this wbs element now we'll see this wbs element status this is created and here we have budgeted also now we'll go to because this is a second level wbs element now we have to go for p and we have to release this wbs element 
it is released and we are saving now this activity has been saved so if there is no material allocation has been not taken for this activity then there will not be and similarly we'll check for the status of this activity is released now for the next activity this WBS also release so we release this activity we can release at the uh, all activities together but the thing is whatever WBS elements are allocated those WBS elements should be partially released or released now we can see over here for this WBS element it is released budgeted act availability control is activated and it has a AUC now in the AUC asset under construction we can see the asset values if any are transferred from WBS to AUC first of all the cost will be transferred from network activities to WBS and from WBS to asset under construction then while doing the capitalization it will be transferred to final asset so here this activity also it has been released so now it is time to open the asset values for that asset under construction if anything has been transferred from the WBS now these are all activities are release now we'll see for the first activity the status is there as release and settlement tool is also there and planned and actual because some materials also here also some none of the materials are assigned here materials are not assigned so this is only simply uh, here the materials has been assigned so what we do is we'll see the status of this activity and it might have the some cost because some materials has been assigned We, we can see the total plant cost for the material and service so here we'll check we'll go to the material component overview and uh, for the first uh, material because this is with stockable item and we'll see the details for this material it has a reservation number why because this material for which uh, the activity for which this material is assigned has been released so it got a reservation number that is 101 reservation committed quantity is 1 withdrawal is 0 and procurement parameters this is uh, purchase requisition for the network movement is allowed that is the tick now we'll see for the uh, next component this is the next component here in the purchasing data the PR number is there why because this is non-coded material as well as non stockable item there is no material code and non stockable item once the procurement is happened it will be consumed directly now the purchase requisition has been generated and the procurement type is account assignment in the customization not known we'll see that one that should be n 
procurement type and procurement parameter what is the procurement procurement is purchase requisition for network purchase requisition for the network now we'll see the purchase requisition for this Now this is the asset values against that uh, particular WBS we have seen. These are the asset values. At the moment it is zero. If you see in the previous year also it will be zero only. So now here we are trying to open the purchase requisition. So this is the purchase requisition number for this item, non-stackable item and we can see over here is quantities, valuation, valuation, source of supply. This is source of supply. Mm, the status. Now we'll check it out. Uh, why the system is specifying as account assignment category is not known. So we'll go to SPRO and. We'll go to customizing guide. In the customizing guide, we have to go to project system. Then in the material only, we'll get the account assignment category for order. Now we'll see the asset here. So this we are we are seeing for the asset under construction. Now we'll go to project system. In the process system, we have to go to material, then in the material, we'll go to procurement, then in the procurement, we should get, uh, yes, check account assignment category and document types. Our document type will be NB for the purchase requisition. Now here we'll see what is the document type has been selected for this. Uh, this is NB. For the NB document type account assignment is n and this is there this is there account assignment category is selected 
so there will not be any issue for this and we'll see the procurement indicator also in the procurement indicator uh, PRQ uh, is already selected 213 it is PS1 PS1 as a procurement indicator so what is the procurement indicator in this we'll go to the PR here uh, procurement indicator is PS1 purchase requisition for network account assignment N purchasing dot purchase requisition for network now it is showing what has happened if you go to the purchase equation now it is there now this uh, information has been updated uh, purchase equation for network sometimes it happens so now it has a uh, purchase, purchase requisition uh, now you will go to the external processing in the external processing also there are two activities are there if these are release then we'll see the purchase requisition details this is the purchase requisition and it has purchase order we'll see the purchase requisition number for this PR it has external processing so this is the way to do individually from the network but the thing is we have to go one by one stage by doing the WBS element then we have to do the network release directly network we cannot be released until unless the assigned WBS has the release or partially release status now the similar activity will try to do from the project builder CJ20N so there the comfortability the convenience is the WBS element release also we can take we can uh, perform there itself now we'll go to project builder that is CJ20N we will see whatever we have done the release this is the project 1404 U3000.1404 now we here we can see the WBS element this is released similarly this activity has also released now this material has a reservation number and this material PS1 procurement account assignment category N if you go to the purchasing data this purchase equation is there now this is general cash it is also released activity because this WBS element has been released this WBS element released activity also release these also release so we got a purchase uh, purchase equation if any PO is there it will be shown uh, PO is exist if service entry sheet has been made service exists it will show and this is the uh, PR and this is the service again here this is the purchase equation though similarly this is the WBS here we can we already see in the AUC or we can see from the purchase equation from the same screen investment program 
and asset under construction so this is the AUC number and uh, now we'll try to uh, we'll try to do everything at one place from the project builder itself so for example if it has any activities yes it has some activities Uh, released and dispatched yes also released and dispatched for three So, for example, here we doesn't have any uh, activities. What we can do is three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Now, here uh, this is C. Uh, similarly, we have E also. entirely done entirely done so we can create new project and we can proceed now we'll do everything from the uh, from the project builder so we'll consider uh, this project in which we have done every planning and all this is 1401 project here everything is in release status now here what we do uh, for the progress analysis purpose will create some activity elements and activities for the progress analysis how it look like we will see the program analysis and we will do the uh, sh schedule then we will do the execution for this particular project now <clears throat> to carry out the progress analysis we need to check uh, little bit customizing settings uh, as a prerequisites now we'll go to customizing guide that is uh, spro so in the uh, customizing guide we have to go to project system uh, project system then in the project system then again we have to go for progress progress analysis in the progress analysis we'll check it out uh, maintain progress version whether it is maintained or not the progress versions for this project So here we have already uh, maintained two versions uh, for this NPA and uh, PR, NPA and PRA. Uh, these two versions are uh, progr uh, progress versions are there. Then we'll see the settings of this progress analysis. Uh, progress analysis is there and uh, earn value basis also there POC 
it is a weight and plant type basic dates early latest possible actual method and refer plan method so similarly we'll check for the other progressive version pra for this also we have uh, entered the cost plan and uh, weight and basic date latest possible work base also we can do okay this is about so now the next uh, uh, setting we have to see this is uh, define statistical key figure for percentage of completion so we have created three uh, key figures non aggregated and aggregated and result analysis so this is also there and the next step will be uh, measurement method yes measurement method next step is measurement methods other than standard measurement methods we have used one uh, we are using quantitative quantitative method we'll see this one uh, whether this quantitative method is there and technique will be uh, quantity proportional and maximum percent of completion is 100 the controlling area and statistical key we already created for planned and actual values so this is measurement methods for process system earned value so we'll put into progressive analysis progress analysis We'll go to progress analysis or measurement method. The measurement method. Measurement method we have done. Now the next setting will be default method as uh, default value. Default measurement method as default value yes this is a default method for as default value for the controlling area you are 0 1 so here we have whatever we have created the quantitative methods we are assigning over here for the WBS element planned and actual uh, yes planned and actual and similarly for the activity internal planned and actual activity external planned and actual now we'll see uh, for the plan for the plan this is a planned indicator and the quantitative method we have assigned similarly for the actual actual indicator and quantum method has been assigned so we haven't changed any method and the next setting will be uh, we have to consider the measurement method for order type this is not required measurement method for the order type this is not required now the question next thing is uh, maintain assignment of cost element group cost element group also we are not doing the and we have to go for instead of cost element groups we have to go for value categories so instead of that one we will go to value categories this value categories and maintain the value category for this statistical key figures so we have standard value categories PS0102 yes we have assigned non-aggregated and aggregated 
percent of completion skf for planned values so this is also we have maintained the now next thing will be assigning oh assigning again we will go to process system we have to assign the statistical key figures to value categories so again cost uh the cost is not required assign that progress we'll go to progress then uh, statistical key figures assign statistical key figures we already created assign statistical key figures to value categories so we are assigning the value categories and statistical key figures this we have created so we have assigned this now this, these are the uh, prerequisites for doing the progressive analysis so for progressive analysis we have to create some activities at the uh, top level of the wbs that is level 1 wbs in the level 1 wbs uh so we close everything this is the level 1 wbs here in this development wbs we'll consider some activities uh we can for a particular project to analyze what are the stages will be there like uh, basic engineering and we can say detail engineering and the next step will be procurement then execution then go for no load trial commissioning so we have created some activities uh, for the level 1 wbs element now if required we can uh, oh my god we have assigned the activities but unfortunately this wbs element is not a account assignment indicator we put the account assignment indicator we have to create once again basic engineering uh you can say detail engineering and procurement procurement execution no load trial and maybe finally it will be uh, finally execution and commissioning yeah commissioning commissioning this we have done no oh my god we have to create one network otherwise it will not allow 1401 we have we are creating a network no n u 3000.1401 so we can give the description as network for progress analysis is the basis is engineering the dates my god
these activities we are uh, being created for the purpose of so we can consider this is the network for progress we are creating this network for the progress and all sys now we'll create some more uh, activity elements uh, particularly for detail engineering in the detail engineering we will take further like uh, in the detail engineering we can consider mechanical uh, electrical and civil so so we have created the activity elements for the detail engineering so it will be very uh, if we create in this uh, detail manner it will be very easy to do the progress analysis now we have to assign the progress analysis so now what we have to we got to go to this network and the activities uh, we'll go to total activities in this total activities we will assign uh, progress analysis details so what we do is we will select the activity then go to in detail here we will get the progress now we have to enter the weight of this basic engineering for entire project so the basic engineering we can uh, consider 10 percent and the progressive version we have already created and that is I think uh, NPA uh, NPA or PRA yes NPA and method plan we have uh, selected quantity method will take and this is the this is also we are selecting quantity method as quantity so this is for uh, NP so what we do is Uh, customizing setting what we have done progress analysis 10 progress version this version we have made NPA and PRA NPA and okay so actual also required so for that purpose we have to consider PRA so ho, ho, PRA so we have to consider uh, actual also required so we require PRA now we'll do the same thing for detail engineering detail engineering progress again we considered detail engineering will be 20 percent we consider and this is PRA again this will be quantity and this will be quantity now we'll go to and again in the detail engineering these are different different progresses so we'll go again for uh, mechanical we can say so 50 uh, this is 30 percent and PRA 
quantity this we are taken a similar way for the electrical electrical we say 20 PRA quantity quantity then for the civil we can consider 50 percent of the progress will be weighted and this is quantity quantity now similarly uh, the procurement basic engineering we have considered how much we have considered maybe 10 yes detail engineering 20 now the procurement again 15 percent uh, this is PRA quantity this is a quantity and execution will be will be 30 of the weight is PRA quantity and this is 30 this is 15 20 50 30 45 75 now out of 75 this we can say no load trial 10 PRA quantity and again the commissioning we are considering 15 PRA quantity so this is 15 percent this is 10 this is 10 30 25 uh, 55 70 90 100 100 PRA Okay, now uh, we have created the progress for all the uh, activities. Now we have to statistical key planning figures for the same. Now the transaction code will be transaction code for the statistical key figure planning. Now we'll go to another transaction. this is still saving now we have to go to statistical key plan now we will see uh, uh, this is saved now now we will go to uh, for the statistical key figure planning for that we will go to logistics project system and then financials then planning uh, statistical key figures then CJK2 because we are doing for the network activities in the CJK2 we will do the planning for all the activities what we are configured for progress Now uh, here the uh, period is 1 and from 1 to uh, we can consider period up to 1 to 12 and year is 2014 and our network is the same and statistical key figure will be 
uh, statistical key figure what we have created uh, statistical key figure for planned and actual this is right then we will go to the planning part and here if required we can uh, the planner profile now here we have to do the planning for 12 months for this network locks problem locks or problems are occurred why <coughs> Now we'll see the error lock. What is the error lock? Lock or problems? Either this network is locked. Network has account assignment. Oh, the wrong network we have selected. This should be fourteen zero one and the transaction we have selected CZK two and the we'll see the planning profile also. settings planner profile we will see uh, this planner profile it is set to SAP all we haven't created any planner profile so we will take the standard one so our network will be this mm -hmm. If we get the activities, uh, SAP all uh, primary cost activity type, all areas activity input, functional, all planning areas, plan areas. Okay, we'll take this and we'll go to error log network has account assignment so we have to take the we have to take the act 